The Kitchener stitch is an invisible seam. It's used to graft two pieces with live stitches together. You'll frequently see it used on the toe of a sock. Let's stitch this one up. I'm using contrasting yarn so you can see how smooth this seam is. I've divided my stitches evenly so there are nine on each needle. First, we'll set up our work. Hold the needles parallel to each other and slide your stitches closer to the ends. These first two stitches are part of the setup. Insert your tapestry needle through the first stitch on the front needle as if to purl. Leave this stitch on the front needle for now. Then go into the first stitch on the back needle as if to knit. Notice I'm going in from this side as if to knit. Leave that stitch on the back needle for now. Now we start a repeatable four stitch sequence to begin removing stitches and sewing this up. Here we go. Go through the first stitch on the front needle as if to knit. Pull your yarn through and slide the stitch off the needle. Go through the next stitch on the front needle as if to purl and leave this stitch on the front needle. You will want to pay attention here. It is very easy to get your working yarn wrapped around your knitting needles. Go slow and enjoy the process. Go through the first stitch on the back needle as if to purl. Slide that stitch off the needle. Now go through the next stitch on the back needle as if to knit. Pull the yarn through. Leave this stitch on the back needle. We will repeat these steps until all stitches have been worked. I keep my stitches very loose and go back to adjust the tension to match my knitting when I'm finished. Let's do it again. Front needle as if to knit. Slide it off the needle. Front needle as if to purl. Leave it on the needle. Back needle as if to purl. Slide it off the needle. Back needle as if to knit. Leave it on the needle. I remember this process by saying front knit remove, front purl leave, back purl remove, back knit leave. Let's keep going. Front knit, slide it off. Front purl, leave it on. Back purl, slide it off. Back knit, leave it on. Remember, it's okay to talk to yourself while you're knitting. <laughs> One more time, front, knit, slide it off. Front, purl, leave it on. Back, purl, slide it off. Back, knit, leave it on. Now I'm at my last two stitches. Front, knit, slide it off. Back, purl, slide it off. Now the toe is stitched. Let's adjust it. I'm using my yarn needle to tug the stitches I just sewed so that they match the tension of my knitted stitches. Follow the loops to see where you need to adjust.
When you weave in your ends on the inside of the sock, you can pull through to secure and tuck any ends that might come out a little pointy. You're all kitchenered up. For more knitting and crochet tips from One Big Happy, click subscribe below. Happy knitting!